Okay, quick look at where I'm at with February, because February 2nd, it's Groundhog Day. Here's how the January things are going, and here is how, what I've started since then. Hello. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do my lettuces this year. Um, because I'm in my basement, I have limited space. I am doing a tray full of my head lettuces right now. So I've got Paris Island, Butter Crunch, Big Boston Bib, Tom Thumb, Tennis Ball, and then I've got two kinds of red, Cimarron and sweet, uh, Super Red Romaine. So I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to sow quite a few in each cell. And then when we get closer to spring, I'll separate them out and um, put them outside if I'm able. And if I'm not, I'll put them into different containers. So I already sewed the Paris Island and the Butter Crunch. I'm going to do Big Boston Bib now. And what I do is I put all this in here, all my um, potting soil, seed starting mix, and then I get it really, really wet so it's really saturated. Now if I push on it, I'm going to get little puddles. And then for lettuce seed, I just set it kind of on top and disturb it a little and then press it into the soil. That way it makes contact with the soil, which will help it get started, um, and, it's, and it'll be wet right from the get-go. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in my hand like that. And I'm going to put a couple in each thing. It doesn't really matter how many. I'm not trying to be exact. I try and put them a little bit away from each other. So kind of a little bit in each corner. So that when they're growing as little seedlings, they don't kind of get in each other's way. But even if they do, you can usually tease the roots apart on these little transplants. So now I've got them all in here. And I'm just going to put my finger and push them down to make sure that they have got good contact with the soil and the water and then I'm gonna leave them alone I'm really not even gonna I'm putting a little bit of dirt over them I'm just kind of disturbing the soil but I'm really not covering them up a whole lot all right so I'm gonna repeat that with all the rest of these okay so these are all planted and here's what's gonna happen each one of these cells has between five and maybe five and seven seeds in it. So even assuming they don't all germinate, let's say I get five per cell. I've got one, two, three, four times five is 20 heads of Paris Island, 20 of Butter Crunch, and 20 of Big Boston Bib. Those are all larger full size-ish heads of lettuce. So we have all those. This Tom Thumb and this Tennis Ball, they're a little bit smaller. Um, I have got five times four, 20, 40 heads of these smaller ones. They get about, the Tom Thumbs are a little smaller, the tennis balls can get a little bit bigger, but they're smaller. Um, those will go kind of tucked in um, around tomato plants and things like that. Over here, I've got the Cimarron and the Romaine, the Red Romaine. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them times five, that's 30 heads of red lettuce to go in my salads too. So I have, you know, a lot of lettuce heads right here. Um, so as they sprout, I will leave them in here until they develop at least probably two big true leaves. Um, and then I'll take them out and transplant them. These are two inch um, squares that I got. I just ordered these on Amazon, but they're a harder pl plastic. They're a little bit more heavy duty and I reuse them every year. Um, so I got about a hundred of these suckers outside. I can bring in the house and, um, and transplant these out. Or I also bought, um, it's over there. I bought a green stalk this year. Um, I used one last year. I bought it for my strawberries. And, um, and if you don't know what a green stalk is, you can Google it. But it's an American-made product that is a tower, and it has pockets on the outside. You can plant things in it. Um, so it's really good for in-town gardeners or gardeners with small space because you can get a lot of produce in there. And I think there is 30 pockets on it. Don't quote me on that. But... What I can do is if I have too much lettuce in this head form too early, I can take that out and put it into my green stock in the house or on the front porch covered up um, or even just set out on the ground in pieces that come as little individual circles you stack. I could set the circles out and put them in here and let them keep growing in that until I'm ready to move it outside and then just move them outside one at a time. So I have plenty of room for this and this is gonna ensure that when spring comes, I have got lettuce to eat right away. So I'll be eating fresh lettuce from 
Let's see, today is February 2nd, I like mid-March. Mid-March, I'll have fresh lettuce growing out of here. I also have some upstairs in my arrow garden. So I'm not gonna buy any green anything from the store um, from now till maybe next winter. Um, so that's why I do this. I get this started early so I can eat off of it going into spring. Okay, here is my lemon tree. It's looking beautiful. Nice strong stem, lots of new leaves coming on. Uh, and I got a pot sitting over here because, I don't know if you can tell, but there's this empty spot in the side because lemon trees kind of grow in this way. And this empty spot, my cat will sleep there. So I don't want her damaging that. So I um, saved some allium seeds from my garden this year, decorative ones, um, ornamentals, and I put those in there and hopefully she stops sleeping in there. Up on top, we have our onions still, which are getting a little floppy. You can trim those. I'm gonna wait until the rest of them kind of catch up and then I'll go through a scissors and just give them a little haircut. Parsley, not up yet. That's that marguerite. Chamomile, no parsley there. Here are my yellow Spanish onions, same thing. I'll give them a haircut when they all kind of pop out. Down underneath, I have got those geraniums. They're doing really good. They're getting like, look at, they have real geranium leaves. Aren't they cute? So they're doing really good. I'll let them get probably twice that big before I pop them out of those containers. I am gonna back off on the watering a little bit now that they're all germinated. They're getting a little bit. I gotta get a fan down here. That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna get a fan. Um, here is one of my first big trays I planted. My yarrow is not doing anything yet. Creeping time. Look how cute those guys are. Super cute. My catnip has finally just started to germinate. I got one little dude right here kicking. Uh, hyssop is sprouting. Marjoram sprouting. Gallardia. Those are beautiful. There is this one little thing in the rutabaga, and I do not think that is a rutabaga. I think it is a stray salvia seed, so we'll wait as it gets bigger. So I don't think I've got any rutabaga yet. And then here's all my broccoli and my cauliflower. So I've got the early purple, spring rab, the rapini kind here, purple Sicily cauliflower. That should be fun. And then my Brussels sprouts. I'm doing Long Island Brussels sprouts. And then down here, look what finally sprouted. Can you see that little guy? My celery. I got a little guy there, little guy there and there. They're so little, but they are there. And there's my cat grass going strong still. All right, so that is this one. There's my crazy dog. Say hi, Bella. Bella keeps digging out my succulents. I got them tucked way back there. They were down here on this shelf and she would dig out and yank them out of the dirt and play with them like they were a toy. So they got moved. I'm getting a light down there. Do not be afraid. They can handle it. Okay, here we go. These are all the lettuces that I just planted. They're gonna go here into this light for now. This is kind of a hodgepodge of things. I have got butterfly weed, which I don't know if you can tell, but right there, just sprouted. The rest of this has not sprouted yet. A whole bunch of random things. Back there, I've got my house plants, my baby Elvis plant, and then I got some rosemary and thyme that uh, went dormant that I'm trying to bring back to life. We'll see how it goes. And then up here on the top shelf, I'm gonna pull these out a little bit so you can see. Zoop. On the top here, I have delphinium. And I don't know if you can see, but there are starting to pop up, just barely. Um, so I got two different kinds there. My serious blue sage, beautiful. See how see how that looks like the ones the rutabaga. Yeah. Uh, Siberian iris is not doing anything yet. That was something I got in a seed swap. I got vera lavender and munstead lavender, and they are all kind of popping haphazardly. Hollyhocks are all up. My first larkspur came up, which is hilarious because look at this larkspur. It came up with three leaves, and I have never seen any plant I don't think that I've ever grown do that. Can you see it right there? They always come up with two leaves and then build. And then right next to them I got mountain mint and that's the red salvia on the end. This sage has not done nothing. So that's that tray. And then over here on this side 
Let me see what I got. Nothing here. Well, there's a little bit that's up. Let me show you. That little guy. That's about it. I'm not going to take these out of the light because um, there's nothing to show you but dirt. But I will go by those things here. This is my cabbage, pretty much. I got Erliana, Red Acre, Copenhagen Market, Tet Noir, cabbages. I have a lot of cabbage because I use them in my front yard as plants, as decorative plants. And then we just eat them and I give them to the chickens. And, and I got my spinach. I got Popeye spinach and America spinach. And so that is what I got going on right here. So now I'm up to a lot of my cool hardy things are already out. I added the head lettuces today. I won't do leaf lettuce inside. I'll wait until I do that outside. Uh, I think I've just got kale left to do for my cool crops. Oh, let's go investigate. Here, I'll show you the basement. I, that's all my lettuces. I ran out of room in my little seed containers. So we had this dresser and I've claimed it as my own. And it holds all my seeds inside of it. So this is my herbs. I have quite a few herbs that I'm gonna do still, but I'm gonna do those a little bit at a time. But I've got kale left to do. I'm gonna do ornamental kale. And then I got my regular kale. Um, I wanna put some radicchio out. I've got tat soy back there. Uh, and that's probably all that I got there. And then this one is all gonna be, these are things I planted already. I have these onions already. Ooh, I got kohlrabi. I gotta put kohlrabi out, I gotta remember that one. So I'm gonna put kohlrabi, kale, there's curled kale, lacinto kale, scarlet kale, it's so pretty. Um, oh, and chard. I have got rainbow and bright lights chard to put out. All right, that's it. 